and 123. So honestly, guys, just keep attacking the store. You guys will see what's on the screen. We're going to keep rolling today. The more we can get done before I get off, the better. Oh, where's the beef? Oh, red and gold. I'll tr <laughs> I was I was like 12, I thought. Weren't we like 12 for that? What up, Chris Kim? I think we were like 12 for where's the beef. Or no, maybe we were like a little bit older, like 16 or 18, because we giggled. We, I, I mean, I know I giggled at it because I was immature. Like, where's the beef? I'm like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> uh, I definitely laughed at that. That's hilarious. Oh, the bitter beer face. That's true, too. I do remember the bitter beer face. You know, we had a girl. We had a, we had a girl, and this is, this is going to come off mean in high school. Our friend dated her. And, and we, you know, we, we pretty much were saying the same thing. She had a bitter beer face. Because she actually did. She looked like the bitter beer face person. She was all puckered. It was, it was not good. It's crazy. Yeah, Ford, I remember moving them up and down the, uh, up and down my stairs at the apartment. And they were the big old, I mean, it was like the uh, monstrous, I mean, the thing was so big. So big. We had to have like four people, one on each corner of the TV, carrying it up and down the stairs every time I moved. And it was just ridiculous. That was the best. <laughs> What's funny is, I was not in any of the corners for it. I was the one watching. Hey, hey, watch out for the wall. Watch out for the wall. <laughs> Oops. I was carrying the couch cushion, thankfully. Hence the reason I don't have any muscles. All the Taco Bell commercials are great. It's funny because we watched all these commercials on our 1,500-pound uh, big screens. Now we can, like, carry our big screens with us anywhere. I was so I was so enamored over the projector I got. I got a projector for like 250 bucks, guys, some gift cards, and I like I plugged it in, and it like Bluetooth to my phone, and, and I was like literally like projecting it on my ceiling. I'm like, oh shit, that's what's on my ceiling. I was like, it, it, like for two hours, I was like thrilled to death by this, and like that's normal. That shows my age. I was like, this is great. Look, that's is yelling on my ceiling. I don't know why I found that so funny. For like two hours, I watched it though. I like lay, I like sat there with it, and I like laid it sideways and like watched it on my ceiling. Weird. Uh. You know who what you know you know who said it. All right, so I listened to a crime show today. Like not a crime show. I listen to these crime shows pretty much every day. So the one I was listening to today, I think it was. Well, I don't think it was a true crime garage. It was like. Uh, it was, I forgot what show it was, but, let me see, this came in, oh, dude, that, dude, that was creepy looking, that was like the, isn't it the one like the finger or something, they were waving their fingers, um, but yeah, so I'm listening to it, and they were talking about Donnie Brasco, right, they're interviewing the actual, the actual real, the Donnie Brasco, real FBI agent, and he made a comment, because someone's like, oh, didn't you worry about this, that, or the other, and he's like, no, like, today's day and age, Nobody speaks their mind. Nobody speaks how they feel or what they think because everybody's afraid to get canceled. And, like, that couldn't be a truer statement in, in, in society nowadays. Nobody really says how they feel because they're afraid to get canceled. Because as soon as you says how they feel, that next person who's going to get butt hurt is going to run and get attention. The, the problem is everybody gets attention for calling somebody out. You know what I mean? So if I said something, like, out of line or whatever, like, somebody, not you guys, not, not you guys who are cool, but... Somebody would hear it and they would run with it and feel like feel like they're cool because they got like Jags campus or something. You know, it's like stupid. Society's just dumb. Or like at work, at offices, people run and tell on somebody and they like feel good about themselves. It's crazy. It's out of control. I always find, I, I find that like kind of, kind of disgusting now about today's day and age. You actually get credit for being a tattletale. You know, that's essentially what it is. Like back in the day. You're a tattletale, you get your ass kicked. Nowadays, you're a tattletale, you get like, uh, you get a, you get a freaking trophy. Oh, he told on so and so, he's the best. So and so got fired. It's ridiculous, it's crazy. Yeah, that's that's what happened back in the day. Yeah, dude, 80s and 90s, dude. It's, that's not how it worked. We worked, we worked it out ourselves. We don't want to cancel anybody, you know. We wanted to kick their ass if we had a problem with it. It's ridiculous, you know. What up, Mike? Yeah, 64 hits, that's funny. I bet if you move again, you're not taking it. What the hell is so thick in this? 
Oh, there's a lot of cards. Yeah, so if you move again, Mike, are you throwing that away or are you keeping it? I'm guessing you're throwing it away. All right, we're going to run this back for sure. I mean, unless we hit like a Lava, a Galactic, and like six autos in here. If that's the case, then we probably won't run it back. But if we hit one, one or the other and our normal amount of autos, then we're going to run it back. It's a guarantee. Yes, we're talking about the 80s. I do like to see our age group in here. Actually, that's a good question. Like, what do you guys, well, we, we were talking about that the other day. I'm going to make a poll about the percentage of people in here. You guys are going to click your age group, and we're going to see. Kind of like that stuff that's going on. I don't, I don't watch country music, but whoever that country guy is, Jason Aldean or something, he's like getting canceled because of a song or something. I didn't even pay attention to it. I just saw it. I just think it's more attention for everybody. The cancelers, the cancelees, and even the counselor. Everybody just gets more attention when stuff like that happens. Everybody wants drama. Everybody loves good old drama. And they don't really care what it does to the other person. You know, like the person, people complaining about that probably aren't even butthurt. They're just complaining so they can get attention. So it, may, it makes them feel bad, you know. Right, let's see. See, TZ? Yep, yep. So TZ's canceled me already. All right, let me see. We're going to go... Uh... Here, go here. All right, you guys got to answer this honestly when you come in. There we go. It's a little. It's a little. Uh, where are we at? Do, 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 do. Boom. Boom. There we go. We're gonna ask. We're gonna ask the community question here. Let's just see what kind of people we have in here. Let's see what kind of people we got. All right, we're gonna go here. Let's see. Drink water out of the hose, walk it off. Yeah, that, that is, yeah, rub some dirt on it. That's some old school saying. That is definitely old school saying. T-Will. Ah, shit. He's going to cancel if there's no 101 Giannis. I got all these pressures. But don't, Ross, seriously, don't lie. Don't lie. Don't, don't, be, don't be silly, guys. I actually want a legit response here. Don't lie. This is, I, I put it up there for an actual reason. So no lying in that. Boat Champ. How about a Boat Champ Galactic? Will, can, will that work instead of a Giannis? Can we, can we find that instead? Or, oh, you know, we could do it. We could do a uh, one of one boat champ uh, uh, auto. The, um, what you call it? There's Johnny Davis, big meat piece for Cesar. There you go. Yeah, just click your age. Exactly. I'm curious to know. Let's see. Ooh, nice. Nice Paolo. Cosmic to 99. Magic. Cool hand. Lucas snagged him. Nice. All right. So now we got to hit a, uh, we got to hit a Chet then. He'll tell take both. That's funny. Cribs is driving and chatting. Oh, BGS. Are they change? I hope not. I hope not. They taught I think they did last year, Mini. Like at the last event they did, and then they came out and they changed their mind over doing it. So I don't think they're doing it. I leave Sunday pretty early morning. Oh, exactly. Yeah, it's it's always good to know because I think we, we sometimes misunderstand our age groups, you know? The 99, Blake Wesley. But I like when I say something and people, they're like, oh, yeah, that's blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, shit. Or it just shows my age when they have no clue what I'm talking about. First auto coming up. There we go. That's a Ross Gets. That's a Ross Gets. Teach you for answering wrong. You eat it. Keegan Murray, Sacramento. There we go. Steezy's not canceling me. He's not, I'm not canceled anymore for Steezy. I got to get uncanceled by T-Will, though. Let's go. Uh, actually, I don't know. It's going to be like 6 or 7 Saturday night, probably. I think I'm leaving early. I'll, I'll have to give you my flight info here. KPJ to 149. Oh, and I will have help tonight, too. Nick is going to be in tonight, so I have help. So hopefully he'll be in relatively around some of these full cases. But if not, that's fine, too. I don't care. I need Mountain Dew somewhere. I might be out of it. Side side, Chandler. Ja, there's a nice chet on the groove. Be 41 eight days. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what I was thinking it was too. It's it's actually a very good question. It's a very good question so long as everyone's answering it legitimately, you know. Like, so I'm curious myself. Nice Steph. Steph to 149. 
for the Warriors. Gohan Luka. Attack the run backs at us at some point. All right, 8 p.m. Sunday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, either, either one's cool. Either one's cool. Because, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen after the party. After the party, it's the hotel lobby or something. Is that it, right? There is. There's Savage Breaks and there's Tyler Williams. Everyone's t will in my opinion, now. I don't even know. And that is another true story, Mini-Me. We actually are, in fact, all still kids in here. We are all still kids. Because why? Because we enjoy, we just enjoy stuff, having hobbies. All the quote-unquote adults are boring and they don't have hobbies. They don't have hobbies. Adults are boring. Why would we be adults when we don't have to be? 20 of 75 for the Blazers. TZ. TZ. It's interesting. I, you know, like, so I've gone my whole interesting story here. Pretty dumb, pretty dumb story. Pretty meaningless story I'm about to tell. So I pretty much go my whole life. I play sports. I do this. I do that. I don't even like, uh, you know, I, I don't even like, I never stink. So when I go out and play sports, I would run all day in the heat. I would never stink like at all. You know, I'd always be like, yeah, I don't even stink. It's great. I move out here, and like, I don't stink, but I can't find the same deodorant I used to wear. <laughs> and like, the deodorant I have on, I'm like, like, what's that BO smell? It's like the deodorant I have on. It's like the weirdest thing to me. It like, almost smells like it's BO, and it's not, because I definitely don't stink. I took a shower. I'm not, I haven't sweat or anything. It's just weird to me. John Collins, we knew that wasn't going to be a kaleidoscope. I already hit that one. That was the only kaleidoscope I've hit. So interesting story there, but lately I've been like smelling stuff and I'm like, like, I mean, I mean, I sweated Zach, but I don't like, I never stunk, you know, like often, believe me, there's sometimes I'd be like, whoa, oh, oh shit, I do stink, but, but rarely, rarely did I stink, weird, you know, let's go, <clears throat> checking out six, <laughs> six in the morning, yes, hotel lobby, we got all, we got a lot of songs going. Uh, oh, yeah, let's see. Uh, oh, nice. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you, Lake Show. I got a list. I got to start writing stuff down, honestly. I got to start writing stuff down. I got a lot of guys looking for some cards. That's all I'm going to do. It is, it's weird. It's like, I keep, I'm like, what's that? I would be walking. I'm like, man, someone stinks. I'm like, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm the only one here. <laughs> I just showered. I don't stink. So it's, I got to change my deodorant. So maybe when I'm back in town, I'll find, you know, I'll buy some old stuff I used to wear. Walker Kessler. For the jazz, for juice. Yeah, the weirdest thing. The weirdest thing, though, with the... Uh, oh, nice. See, yeah, that, this is about the age group I would thought. You know, I thought. Um, the weirdest thing about the deodorant on here, they keep it locked up. It, it's it's kind of sad in a way. It's locked up behind the counter. Um, LeBron. A LeBerton Fractal. It's locked up in the, uh, in the cases out here. Because they say people steal it all the time. Like, how sad is that? Like... Literally, homeless people are stealing deodorant. Like, I, I like, want to buy all the deodorant and just give them out. Give them to them, you know? That's crazy. It's nuts. Uh, yeah, if anybody's looking for something, let me know. Yeah, let me know. I, I'll look for it the best I can. As long as I read through your messages and I'm looking at cards, I, I'm going to be there for so many days. I have no problem looking for you guys' cards. And hopefully I find some for you guys. I'm going to have to make a list, though, to be honest with you. All right. I do have some weird stories occasionally. Devin Booker impacts. All right, at this rate, I'm going to say the next one should snap, Phil. Johnny Davis. Because we haven't had a Lava. We haven't had any crazy autos here. We haven't had a Galactic. Ryan Rollins, I'm kind of surprised. This first half needs to wake up a little bit, as LJ would say. There's an Ivy for Bass. Keegan, Dinwiddie. All right. Oh, Ross, I'm going to bring your cards. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, shit. I packed already. I'm going to try to bring your cards, Ross. Damn it. I was going to ship them to you, but I should probably just bring them to you, you know? Oh, for sure, CTP. Yeah, we're, we're, it sucks that you're not going to be there. You should just come. Will she not let you come? I know Kelly will let you come. She's cool. Tell her I want you there. Tell her I want you there. How come we had two fractals? Please tell her. Jag says I have to come. I think she'll let you. What if I give her, like, uh... What if I find her a nice Del Curry auto? You think that'll tip her over the top? I think I think she'll do it. I think. Jalen Duran. Come on, let's have a nice auto here. It's the right colors. Right shape. Right shape. Uh, wrong size-ish. But we'll take it. I like him, LaRavia. 
Alright. Ooh, nice Jabari. Nice Jabari cubic for the Rockets. Hill Seku. Here you go, Seku. Hey, dude, she asked you why she's not go why you're not going. So again, I'm gonna ask you, why aren't you going? Again? Can you explain that one to me? Because we're all gonna be there, literally. We're all doing it. We're all doing it. Why aren't you doing it, CTP, huh? Alright, that was that was actually okay. I think the second half is gonna be pretty good. Second half is 100% going up. There's no way in hell that one's not going up. And then I'll add a couple more to the store. Alright, a bunch more are going to be uh, sleeved and cased. Let's recap it. That was yeah, you know, a nice cubic of Jabari. Nice Johnny Davis. A couple nice Palos. Nice Kessler. Decent Chet Groove. But there was no Lava and no Galactic. Nice Steph. Nice Keegan for the Kings. And nice Palo. There's a break. Thank you for joining. Oh, hell yeah.